I am telling you right now, you are going to want to kiss me on the lips for the. I was just like, dang it. I didn't want to like those. <laughs> I just did not want to like those. Well, hello and welcome back to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I'm Valentina, if this is your first time tuning in. And I am so excited about today's video because we are gonna be talking about 2023's spring, summer, most wearable trends. So some of these are coming directly off the runway and some of these are coming from like Instagram influencers, things, people, street scenes, right? Street style, it's what people are actually wearing. And I think that's really important because I think we can get caught up a lot of times in, first of all, what's on, what's on the catwalks? A lot of people don't even know what's on the catwalks, right? But some of us that are really into fashion, we can kind of start looking at what's there and really grabbing from those trends. But a lot of times to me, the trends that people are actually wearing are some of the most interesting ones there are. So today we're gonna be talking about trends that people are actually wearing and how to wear these and how to incorporate them into your everyday wardrobe. I will also say that a lot of these trends are not super trendy. I think that we can get caught up sometimes in trying, at least I do. I really like to have a very classic wardrobe. I like to buy quality items that I can wear and mix and match with a lot of different things. However, I do think we should have a little bit of fun with our wardrobes as well. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. You're gonna see that none of these are so trendy that you're not gonna want them next year even. They're, they're good classic trends that aren't too trendy, but are a little bit of fun. Hopefully that all made sense. <laughs> so make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up if you're like me and you love to have fun while getting dressed and uh, enjoy seeing what is going on and what people are wearing and uh, sometimes grabbing those things and wearing them ourselves. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, so the very first trend is denim skirts. I am telling you, people are going nuts literally nuts over denim skirts. And the funny thing is, is that I don't really feel like this one started out so much on the catwalks. There are a few companies like Max Mara that did put out denim skirts on their runways. However, this is more of a street style kind of style that people just literally went crazy over. And the problem is, is that it is a little bit hard to get a denim skirt right now, especially if you are looking for a maxi style. Now I am breaking the rule a little bit. I'm gonna back up, let me show you. I am wearing one that is more of a midi length. And the reason why is because I ordered about 20 different denim skirts and I kept one of those. <laughs> I just didn't feel like any of the denim skirts that I could get my hands on in my size were something that really fit me. Now, a lot of you probably already have a denim skirt in your wardrobe. You may even have a maxi denim skirt in your wardrobe, so that's really good news. If you have one with a slit in the front like this, you are really in, and that is, pull it out and start wearing it with pride, okay? I feel like my mom's gonna have one of these in her wardrobe. She's always like that. She's like, I wore that in 1975. I have it. <laughs> I'm like, pull it out, mom, it's back. <laughs> but long denim skirts are just a craze right now. Uh, I really liked actually one of the longer ones that I had ordered, but even with the three and a half inch heel, it was still touching the ground. And actually I was intending on having it hemmed and then my husband got a little bit excited and returned all of the skirts, including the one that I actually wanted to keep. So I may actually reorder that skirt because I really liked it. And I think that even us petite girls can 100% wear this trend. I think just wear, maybe wearing it with a little bit of like a kitten heel or a little bit of height, uh, that will make that really work for those of us that are a little bit on the petite side. But if you're taller, you can 100% pull it off. A lot of the girls are wearing them with sneakers even, and it's really just like that street style that's really easy to wear, even if you're just running around, you know, in your neighborhood or something, right? I personally fell in love with the black denim because it just fits so perfectly into my wardrobe. Uh, I found that the fit on this is just amazing and it's so comfortable. The next big trend that I'm super excited about is the return to classic. So it seems almost like an anti-trend and I think in a way it kind of is. People have gotten aware, I think it's TikTok, it's kind of just really worn people out or just feels like things are way too trendy, like lightning speed trendy. One of the shops that I go to all the time for classic pieces is Lily Silk. And I happen to be wearing their beautiful, beautiful top today. And Lily Silk is our video sponsor for today. So thank you, Lily Silk, for that. They have hooked me up with some incredible incredible classic pieces. And I think that this is a trend that we can all really just jump on board because it's 
these are pieces that it's like my mom. You're gonna pull them out years from now and be like, look, it's still in style. I love that. As we kind of move into spring and summer, we're looking for things that are lighter and airier. So Lily Silk only uses the highest quality silk. This is made with their mulberry silk, and it is pure luxury, but it's still affordable luxury. I think you guys will absolutely adore these pieces if you don't already have them. The Amalfi stripe looks great with a denim skirt. It also looks amazing paired up with just like you could put it with a little pair of white jeans and a little trainer. You could put it on with a blue blazer. You could also put it on with like a little crop jacket. It's incredible to have these classic pieces in your wardrobe. Lily Silk is also where I love to go for silk camisoles. These are perfect for spring and summer because they look gorgeous paired underneath the blazer. Just like with this top, it looks amazing. If you want to dress it up, you could dress it up with a pair of trousers and you could also dress it down a little bit with a pair of jeans. These are incredible because again, they're breathable. I love the fact that they have the adjustable strap on them. Uh, I also love, look at the detail work that they put on this trim along the neckline like that. It is just stunning and I literally just absolutely live in these pieces. Another classic piece I think we all need in our wardrobes is actually a belt. And one of the ones that I really felt like was really missing in my wardrobe was a white belt. I adore this one from Lily Silk. It's really just a very simple piece, but it's actually got this really nice detail on it as well. This is perfect if you're gonna be wearing white trousers a lot, which is something I do a lot in spring and summer. And also with the white jeans, it was just something I didn't have in my wardrobe and I knew that this would be an instant hit. Another wardrobe classic is the beautiful silk tank dress. These are nailing another one actually of our trends and that is the maxi dress. So a maxi silk dress is so easy, especially when it's got this tank style like this. This is perfect because you could very easily dress this up to be able to go to work in it with a little pair of heels or a really cute pair of sandals. And then you could also you could throw on uh, like a little dad sandal with this and totally dress it down. Maybe just throw a little blazer over it and kind of like play up that mix of styles. But either way, a piece like this is one of those that just stays in your wardrobe for absolutely years. Lily Silk also sent me this beautiful Amalfi stripe in the dress as well. And this is such a beautiful classic piece. Just like with the other ones, it can easily be dressed up with like a beautiful blue jacket or blazer over top of it. Or you could also pair this up with beautiful brown accents as well. Maybe go with a little dad sandal and a little brown bag. And I think that this would also be so perfect. Finally, another classic piece that I absolutely live in during spring and summer. Actually, these I actually keep in my wardrobe year round. And that is their, more of their t-shirt style blouses. I love these. I own multiples of these and I find them to be wildly comfortable. They're like a second skin and that's what I love about their Lily Silk silk products is that they really do feel like a second skin. You forget that you're wearing them and that is perfection to me. I thought it'd be so beautiful styled up with a pair of white shorts and I could also style this up with my white jeans. So lots of options, lots of great ways to incorporate a lot of the trends that we're gonna be talking about and using these classic pieces. So look down in the show notes and use my code HOV12 to get a 12% off your order or you can also do the buy one, get one 30% off code, which is HOV30. Those are great deals. I know you're gonna love them. So I'm gonna leave everything linked up down below in the show notes for you. Another trend that everyone else has been going crazy over and um, ahem, maybe I have too, <laughs> it's this sort of raffia tote bag. I can't get enough of it. I just love this style of bag. And it really started out with the Prada bag. And H&M came out with this one. Now, if you look these up, sometimes they're called crochet and sometimes they're called raffia. But either way, these bags are crazy, crazy in, and I just love them. I think that they are so cute. I took this one to, I took it to Marrakesh, I took it to the beach. It's great for the pool. It's got this open design. You could also just tote your things around. I don't know if you're gonna go to school or work or wherever you're gonna go. It's just this amazing little bit of summer 
There's just something about it. And there's just something about these totes that we're all just going crazy over. I don't have the Prada one. I actually have the H&M version. They have one without the logo still in stock. I, I wish, I keep hoping they'll come back with this one. Uh, but I also like the big totes as well. This one by Anina Bing has been incredible already for the season. I've been using it nonstop. It's amazing if you've got somewhere you need to run, whether you're gonna be taking towels with you to the pool or the beach, or if you're just running around town and you just want a little piece of summer. I mean, look how cute this looks with just my everyday outfit. That's what's so great about it is that you can really incorporate these trends. They're super wearable for every day and also for those moments when you're having a more seasonal moment like the pool or the beach. I also grabbed these off of Amazon. I thought that these little totes were so cute and I love the fact that you can, it comes in a little two pack like this. This one actually has lining inside of it as well and a little pocket and it does have a zip closure. But either way, I just, I love these bags. I think that they are really beautiful. They look great styled up with your everyday clothing. I think it balances things out as well, especially if you're like me and you like to maybe dress up just a little bit more. Having kind of a casual piece that you just kind of throw over your shoulder really balances everything out. And that's why I think this is such a wearable trend. It's one that we will can all jump onto and we'll actually get a lot of use out of these bags. So you could go designer and go with the Prada ones. They've also got some really cute like little like handle style bags. I'm like, oh, that's really cute too. But this is just a little bit of a twist on the summer raffia bags, you know, that come out every single year. And I just think that this is just a lot of fun. And I think it's super wearable and I am here for it. As I mentioned before, maxi dresses are crazy in and I love them. This one by Anina Bing, oh my goodness, literally just stole my heart. The fabric that was, that she used for this is the most heavenly cotton you will ever touch in your life. When you walk, it has like that swooshy, like princess kind of feel to it. Uh, I've already worn it once when I was out just in the garden and uh, a little bit more of a relaxed day at home. The back side of this is open and it is beautiful. It feels like a princess dress, but you're just literally wearing a nice sundress. I do think that you could also put on a heel, like, like a heeled sandal. You could do, again, like something flat with a dad slide. There's a lot of different ways that you can wear a maxi dress. And as you can tell, I personally love the black maxi dress, but I do think that you could also mix in other colors. All of this is on style. It's coming straight from the runway. Maxi dresses are just still crazy in. You can also belt these, you can leave them loose. I tend to leave them loose. I, I do, it's just how I like it. I guess it's from living in Morocco for so many years where I like that loose look, but you can also belt these as well. Either way you wanna wear it, it's just wearable and it's all acceptable and that's why I think it's such a great trend. The other trend that I did not think I would be getting onto until I saw this Anina being had was the bucket hat. A lot of the bucket hats have more of that sort of canvas look to them. They're a little bit more of that kind of 90s style. My daughter literally loves them. Like she's, she's 22 and that age group is just freaking out over bucket hats. I just hadn't found one that felt like it fit with my kind of classic modern style until this Anina Bing one. Oh my gosh. I could not order this fast enough. <laughs> just needed it, I loved it. I think that it it re has like a vintage feel to it just a little bit, I think, with the structure of it. I think that's why I like it, is because it's a structured hat. I just freaked out over it. I think it's just utterly stunning and the quality of this hat is breathtaking and I think you could even wear it with just an everyday outfit, just like with what I have on right now. I just love it. I literally just absolutely love it. In fact, I may check to see if it comes in black. <laughs> you know, yeah, we'll see. I'll leave it linked up along with everything else in the show notes. <laughs> okay, so clearly I'm into this next trend just a little bit. In fact, I absolutely love this trend. I find it to be so wearable and that is woven leather. It mimics almost like a basket. So I have the Bottega Veneta. This is their kind of little shopper bag that they did and I just fell in love with it. I just fell in love with it. It's so beautiful, it's so 
wearable, it's so classic, and I just love how this just feels so spring and summer-like to me, and I, I just fell in love. This was last year, and I could not wait to pull this back out. I do think it feels a little bit seasonal. I didn't tend to wear it as much over the fall and winter, but man, the minute the weather started to get warm, pull this puppy back out. I'm so excited about it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I also have these amazing shoes in two colors. I found these on Amazon, so they are definitely Bottega Veneta inspired. These also do come in the slide if you prefer to have a flat. I absolutely live in these. They, they go with pretty much everything. It's just a little bit of modernness and it just works with everything. I also have the shoulder bag that I found in Massimo Duty. You can carry it as a crossbody if you would like to. Uh, you can also just carry it by the shopper handle, which is how I tend to carry it. You can pop it up over your arm or on your uh, the crook of your arm like this. There are a lot of pieces out there like this that have that woven leather trend. And so you're able to jump on it whether you want to invest a little bit more or if you want to test it out first, there's a lot of great ways to do it. But these bags just, they just work with everything. Th that woven leather just adds a little bit of character to an otherwise just it would be a, a very simple bag without that woven leather and it just makes it so special and just gives you a little bit extra something. And then I do also have the Bottega Jody bag. I, weirdly enough, this has ended up being probably my most worn bag and I heard other people say that before and I was like, I just like it. I think it'll be great. It looks summery and springy. People carry this year round. It's definitely not just a spring summer bag and everything that people were saying about it is true. It is the most comfortable bag. The way that it sits over your arm and everything is just, it's outrageous. And what I love about this style in particular is that of course I tend to dress up quite a bit and then this bag is quite informal, but it doesn't look like grungy either. Like I don't do grunge. <laughs> so, I just absolutely love it. And I love this size as well. Uh, yeah, I would definitely buy this bag. Again, I would buy it in more colors. I love it. I've got two more and I am telling you right now, you are going to want to kiss me on the lips for these because you guys have been asking for this for so long and I am in. So just, yes. <laughs> You're gonna love this as much as I do. And that is, so yes, two more. This one first, that is New Balance. Holy guacamole. You wanna talk about something being on trend. So I did not jump on this trend necessarily like on purpose, cause I was like, well, I did buy the one uh, pair. Actually, I don't have them. My, my daughter stole them from me, okay? I'm telling you, they're that in and they're hard to get. So New Balance is having a moment. New Balance is having a huge moment. Uh, the only problem with it is that they are a little bit hard to get. So I'm gonna link these up that I've got and I'm gonna give you links for alternate places to look because it's a little bit hard to get them. That's how big this trend is. People are going nuts over it. There's something about New Balance. There's something about not only just the way that they look, there's not just the colorways and the style. It's the comfort. It's what got me 100% an utterly hooked on this. I'm obsessed. So I think that they're 550s, the 503s, you've got the still more of like a dad style. Uh, these I just got and I was like freaking out because I couldn't believe I got them in my size. <sighs> they look great paired with a pair of trousers. That's my personal favorite way to wear these because I like the balance of something dressier with something informal. This is what I wore non-stop in Paris was New Balance sneakers. They are amazing. There's a reason people are obsessing over them. It's not like silly bands, if anybody remembers that, where it was just a silly little thing that people were just into briefly. No, these are like popular for a reason. It's because they're so comfortable. It's because they're so easy to pair with different things. And I think that they are absolutely amazing. We may need a whole video for this. Let me know if you want a whole video about how to style sneakers because I, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. I think it's a great trend. It's so wearable. We can finally all be comfortable. I'm comfortable in heel myself, but I know there's a lot of you that just either cannot or just don't want to wear a heel. And so I feel like this is a trend that everyone can get onto. It's super wearable. It's for everyone. Final trend for today is dad sandals. There you go. You heard it here. I know. Who would have thought Valentina would ever wear a dad sandal? I didn't until you put them on your feet. You want to talk about the most wearable trends? 
dad sandals. There's a reason they're crazy popular. Now you could go with the Birkenstocks, which are wildly in. I may actually consider that. These shoes are popular on every single level. So all the way from the, the, you know, the top designers, Prada, Celine, Chanel, YSL, everybody's come out with the dad style sandal. The reason is because they're comfortable. They're just comfortable and people still just like to be comfortable. And that's what this really comes down to. So you could go with a black pair like these. I think these might be sold out now on H&M. That's how things go with H&M. I'll leave something leaked up that's similar in style and price, but I took these with me to Morocco. I couldn't believe how comfortable they are. I was just like, dang it. I didn't wanna like those. <laughs> I just did not wanna like those. And now I'm like, how many pairs can I buy this month? <laughs> <laughs> and still eat. <laughs> I'll eat peanut butter and jelly. I'll get another pair of these. <laughs> I did actually find another really cute pair on Amazon. I know this is from their drop collection and holy cow, are these not just so cute? And you can also buy their bags in the matching colors. So if you're one of those people that love to match these, there you go. So there are so many great trends out right now. And I think just kind of sorting through them and finding the ones that you really love. I hope that the ones I've been loving are inspiring for you and it just gets you excited about going into your closet and occasionally adding something that's a little bit trendier, but these are all things that are gonna be coming back next year as well. They're definitely not super trendy. I don't even know what those things would be because I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna look at super trendy TikTok. I'm gonna look for things that are always stay in classics and I think that all of these will still be around and so you can have a little bit of fun with your wardrobe, but you can also have things that are well spent money because they're really wearable and you're gonna pull them out over and over and your cost per wear is gonna be super low on these items. Uh, so I'm gonna leave everything linked up for you. I'll also leave up my LTK where I give you lots of those mood boards so you can see how everything looks put together and get lots of ideas. I will also leave the Lily Silk discount. Oh my goodness, those two discount codes the 12% off and the buy one, get one 30%. I'm gonna leave all of that link down below for you because I think you guys are going to love it. And um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit because I got my trends all over the place. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drink a little bit of my coffee and I hope that I will get to see you in the next one. See you then.